kill shot, I will not fail. This first win comes before the track even begins. Eminem's most notable diss song was known as The Warning, which was a diss mainly aimed at Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon, but was considered a warning to all of the artists in the rap game not to mess with him. Kill Shot is most certainly a fitting follow-up title. You sound like a bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Weird, weird. Right. You yelling at the mic. Weird, weird. Doing this you once. Weird, weird. 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 Why you yelling at the mic? Eminem sums up the main points from MGK's Rap Devil in the first 10 seconds. Rihanna just hit me on a text. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. Eminem responds to Machine Gun Kelly's line about him being too afraid to ask for Rihanna's number using sexual imagery. Wait, you just dissed me, I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next. Addressing the hypocrisy of Machine Gun Kelly's Rap Devil in which he compliments him multiple times throughout the entire track. Damn, I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. Was watching 8 Mile on my Norda track. A Norda track is a brand of a treadmill, giving a great twist on Machine Gun Kelly's line in Rap Devil, saying that the last time Eminem saw 8 Mile was at home on a treadmill. Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. Eminem brings a twist to a very notable line from his popular song Stan, in which he is writing a letter to Stan, saying that Machine Gun Kelly is Stan himself, which was Eminem's most obsessed fan. Also, Stan had committed suicide by the time Eminem finally responded to him, alluding to the idea that Machine Gun Kelly has committed suicide to his career by releasing Rap Devil. Also, also, this is saying that Machine Gun Kelly's career is already done and that Killshot is nothing but a eulogy, which in turn becomes a reference to one of the lines of Rap Devil in which Machine Gun Kelly says he's reading a eulogy at Eminem's funeral. Also, 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 Eminem is referring to Machine Gun Kelly's daughter as Matthew from Stan, who is considered an even bigger fan of Eminem than Stan was. Also, 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 Eminem made a sequel to Stan in which Matthew, who is now considered MGK's daughter, grew up and tried to kill Eminem by driving off a bridge with him in the trunk, but ultimately failed in killing himself only, considering more albums were released after this song holy fuck this line had so much to it stand, stand, son. Listen, man, dad isn't mad. eminem calls machine gun kelly his son and an obsessed fan all while using a very simple flow and rhyme scheme much like machine gun kelly uses eminem uses a common nursery story in which you're never supposed to wake a sleeping giant meaning that eminem is a much stronger and bigger person in the rap game also this is a jab at machine gun kelly's line in rap devil in which he says he's reading eminem a nursery so you got me in a scope but you raised me i say one call the inner scope and you crazy this is a direct reference to machine gun kelly's line in rap devil in which he says he has eminem in the scope you know because he's the gunner in case you forgot but eminem says he only grazed him at meaning that the track did absolutely nothing also eminem says that he can make one call to machine gun kelly's label and make him disappear completely your reply got the crowd yelling woo so before you die let's see who could out petty who with your corny lines let me roll out kelly ooh but i'm 45 and i'm still out selling you eminem puts a spin on machine gun kelly's multiple year old disses by letting him know that he is still way better than him at this age by 29 i had three albums that it blew eminem sold roughly 200 times more albums by the time he was 29 than Machine Gun Kelly has sold his entire career. Side note, Eminem sold over three times the amount of albums within the first week of releasing the Marshall Mathers LP that Machine Gun Kelly has sold his entire career. So three times the amount of wins is definitely appropriate. This is why videos like this need to exist, because this line has so many different meanings that you literally have to stop and think about the song. First off, Machine Gun Kelly thinks that he has a figurative rap gun held to Eminem right now with the release of his Rap Devil track, but Eminem says that he doesn't even have a bow and arrow, which is a predominantly weaker and less efficient weapon. Also, Eminem acknowledges that phone bills get way too high when you do nothing but talk, saying that Machine Gun Kelly's doing nothing but talking right now. Also, also, Eminem addresses the line from Rap Devil in which Machine Gun Kelly says that he will hold Eminem's head still, saying that the only time he'll hold still is when he's playing dead like a possum, which is basically known as the pussy of the animal kingdom. Also, 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 this is a double meaning of the phrase hold still, which can be read as hold steel, as in metal, as in hold a gun. Meaning the only time Machine Gun Kelly holds a gun is when he's pretending to be dead to his opponent, just like a pussy possum. Are you eating cereal or oatmeal? Plus a hundred fucking wins because Eminem references my video talking about what's in the damn bowl where I word for word said what's in the bowl, cereal or oatmeal. What's in the bowl? Cereal? Oatmeal? Yo Slim, your last four albums suck. Go back to recovery. Oh shoot, that was three albums ago. Plus another hundred fucking points because Eminem references my video where I again made this very same point. Hello Marshall, my name's Colson. You should go back to recovery. Earlier he talked about how Eminem's selfies were as bad as his last four albums. Recovery was only three albums ago. To any Machine Gun Kelly fan listening to this that told me I was wrong about that, you can suck all over my dick. Bro, bitch, yeah, I had enough money in O2 to burn it in front of you, ho. Younger me, no, you don't whack me. It's funny but so true. I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you.
Eminem had fuck you money by the year 2002. Also, Eminem references the line where Machine Gun Kelly calls himself the younger Eminem, to which he blatantly tells him, no, you're the whack version of that. Also, Eminem addresses Machine Gun Kelly's multiple old age jabs by saying that he would rather be himself at age 80, well beyond the height of his career, rather than be Machine Gun Kelly at the age of 20, which is coincidentally when he was first noticed on the music scene. Tell him hitting old age, still can fill a whole page with a 10 year old's rage. Got more fans than you in your own city, little kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. Eminem says that when he hits old age, he can still write a song that was equal to Machine Gun Kelly's Rap Devil track. Also, Eminem slightly references my video again where I talked about all the childish 10 year old insults that Machine Gun Kelly was throwing his way. Seriously? That's your opening line? Arguably the greatest rapper live is challenging your career and you open with an insult from the mind of a toddler? Fucking dweeb, all you do is read the dictionary and stay inside. Machine Gun Kelly reverts back to his toddler insults. Also, he says he's tired of Eminem sweatsuits and corny hats. It's as if this track was ghostwritten by a 12 year old kid. Five eight, man, I'm six four. More toddler insults. Also, 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 saying that he has more fans in Machine Gun Kelly's own city of Cleveland than Machine Gun Kelly does himself. Also, 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 Lil Tay reference. The feisty nine year old. Got the ditty okay, so you sit your whole day shooting a video just to fucking dig your own grave. Got to get your own way, I'm the Philly go. Machine Gun Kelly has to ask permission from his boss P. Diddy to make Rap Devil. Also, Eminem references the shovel used in Rap Devil as MGK digging his very own grave. Also, also, wake is another term for a funeral. Also, 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 a Billy Goat is the most notable of goats. Goat is also an acronym for greatest of all time. You ain't never made a list next to no Biggie, no J next to Taylor Swift. And that Ziggy Ho, you about to really blow. Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly has never been in the conversation of the best rappers such as Biggie Smalls and Jay-Z, but Eminem himself has. Also, Eminem implies that Machine Gun Kelly looks like Taylor Swift or Iggy Azalea, both of which are two white female artists that are very skinny with blonde hair. Also, also, Eminem is saying that Machine Gun Kelly might be on the list with these two artists as they are widely ridiculed for the work and most of the time not taken too seriously. Also, 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 Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly will really blow just from the fact that he is talking about him. Also, 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 Eminem is using the double meaning of you about to really blow and reference to a song of his in which she says that Iggy Azalea is either gonna blow a rape whistle or blow Eminem. Meaning either A, Eminem is raping Machine Gun Kelly with this track, or B, Machine Gun Kelly is sucking dick on this track, or C, Machine Gun Kelly is sucking Eminem's dick through his career. Either way, this line is absolutely fucked and mind-blowing. Pun intended. Kelly, they'll be putting your name next to Tom, next to Benzino 5, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying Haley in vain. Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly's name will be next to some of his previous opponents, such as Jaw Rule or Ray Benzino, whose career he essentially ended. My biggest flops are your greatest hits. Eminem's worst songs perform better than Machine Gun Kelly's greatest songs. The game's right again and ain't nothing changed but the lock, so before I slay this bitch, I'm gonna uh, give Jade a kiss. Eminem says that he still runs the game and the only thing that's changed about him is the color of his hair. Also, this is one of the greatest play on words of all time. Eminem uses the term locks to describe his hair, but locks was also a rap group whose breakout artist was Jada Kiss. Eminem then says before he continues on with his diss, he needs to give Jade a kiss, Jade being his daughter's middle name. Jade a kiss? Jade a kiss? Jesus Christ. Being rich shamed by some prick using my name for clickbait in a state of bliss cause I said his goddamn name, now I got a cock back aim, yeah bitch pop champagne to this. Machine Gun Kelly released a Twitter video hours after Eminem dropped Kamikaze, popping a bottle of champagne while listening to Eminem's verse on Not Alike dissing him. Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly must be so ecstatic and happy that his name was actually mentioned. It's your moment, this is it, as big as you're gonna get so enjoy it. Had to give you a career to destroy it. Eminem references lyrics from his own song, Lose Yourself, to let Machine Gun Kelly know this is his one moment to shine. Also, Jesus Christ, this is my favorite line of the entire track. No explanation needed. This is just amazing. Eminem had to give him a career just to destroy it. Also, that line is in reference to his song, The Warning, in which he told Nick Cannon that if he wanted to ruin Eminem's career, he better get one. Ah, such a timeless classic. I give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Eminem flipping Machine Gun Kelly short jokes by saying that no matter how tall he is, Machine Gun Kelly will always look up to him. Give your life to be a solidified. Eminem is saying that Machine Gun Kelly is knowingly ruining his career just so people that will forever know his name, likely as the guy that one time tried to diss Eminem but failed miserably. So what good is a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo? None. A machine gun is useless without ammo. How the fuck can him and I battle? He'll have to fuck Kim in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals cause he knows long as I'm shady he's gonna have to live in my shadow. Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly would have to pretend to be Eminem and wear his own clothes for Kim to sleep with him. Also, play on words with Shady and Shadow because shadows are shady. Also, also, Machine Gun Kelly knows that as long as Eminem is alive that he will always be in his shadow. You dance around it like a sombrero, we can all see you fucking salty cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey. Eminem brings up the fact that G-Eazy is having sex with Halsey a former love interest of Machine Gun Kelly. Also, Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly refuses to address this issue by dancing around it. 
Your red sweater, your black leather, you dress better. I rap better. Eminem says that he raps better than Machine Gun Kelly, so Machine Gun Kelly can have his very small win of dressing better, which is obviously the inferior thing. Who else wanted cows? My tip fails. Button L's fucking nails in these coffins as soft as hot nail. Hot nail is a brand of toilet paper. Also, Eminem references his nail in the coffin diss track, where he practically ruined Ray Benzino's career. With this idiot's boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills with cows. The day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out, they got pot kill, ah. Holy fuck. I'm sick of you being whack and still using that motherfucking autotune, so let's talk about it. Eminem addresses the absolutely horrible use of autotune on Machine Gun Kelly's Rap Devil Chorus. I'm sick of your mumble rap mouth, need to get the cock about it before we can even talk about it. It is very difficult to speak with a penis in your mouth. Not from experience or anything. Talk about it. I'm sick of your blonde hair and earrings, just cause you look in the mirror and think that you're Marshall Mathers. Eminem says that Machine Gun Kelly wants to be him by trying to look like him. Don't mean you are and you're not about it, so just leave a dick in your mouth and keep, keep my, my daughter out. Holy fuck, part two. I don't feel so good. You're alright. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, sir. Please. Please, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go.